I forgot to check the mail today. And then I just went out. Something I never thought I'd be doing in my lifetime. With gloves on, getting my mail. You know, my wife's a healthcare worker and they have uh, data that, you know, this virus can live on packages for a short period of time, but I guess you got to take all precautions. So this here's my quarantine knife. I have to clean it with the Lysol wipes after I open packages, but trusty cold steel. Cutlery shop exclusive. Shut up a lot quicker than I thought it would. It's an interesting knife, you know, with the... I really like this green. I'm, I'm colorblind, um, so I do see things differently, but I really like this. And I have the other cutlery shop exclusives I've never put on video yet. I have the CTS XHP version and the DLC. I've never... I don't usually run some of the exclusives that are already sold out, but I wanted to show this knife even though it was only a 600 piece run and it's sold out pretty quick just because how unique unique it is and I wanted to get it on video so um, you know there are going to be people buying it on the exchanges and uh, you know in just the aftermarket in general so this is all the stuff that comes from cutlery shop you know they're, they're good people there I think somebody told me that they're one of the original Online vendors, there are you know just the shops in general that started exclusives with Spyderco. I don't know how true that is. Maybe someone will correct me. The paperwork on the knife. It does talk about the two different you know OD green and the orange scale. And uh, from what it's on their website, they are this one. It says right here they're not going to run this again. It was only a one-time deal. But they do have the exclusive rights to do these dual colored variants. So I don't know if they're going to do a PM2. You know, they've done Native 5s, Native 5 lightweights. I don't know exactly how that's going to go down, but it does say that. So we will be seeing some of these in the future. It was 147 And Steve, by the way, every knife since the, color, the uh, Knife Center Shaman with the rosewood crew where every single knife has been coming with the you know the desiccant packet in it. so I don't know what the deal was with that if they just forgot to put them in there or excuse me they figured the rosewood was going to suck up the moisture I doubt we don't know I took this out of the box and whittled hair with it just typical spiderco sharpness on the blade you know my wife's hair one way I've already wiped the blade down with EDCI you know, oil to pivot. Typical what I do when I get them. Fit and finish looks excellent. You know, it may be favoring the one scale. I can't see through the camera right here. Um, maybe off to this side just the slightest little bit, but you know, perfect action. Just a different knife. I mean, uh, this is something I never expected to see. You know, with two different scales like this. You know, the big star, obviously, with this one is is the Rex 45 blade. Um, I, I'm sure a bunch of people are going to be taking these off. And somebody said online, you know, they should make another run and they can swap scales. You can't really swap one side of the scale. They would have to do the opposite of this to be able to use the scales to make one knife, you know, with the same color. I don't think he understood that when he said that. But, um... You know, it's a perfect candidate to get aftermarket scales if you wanted. You know, 147 is a relatively decent price for a Rex 45 blade, so. I really like this side. I, I, I think this would look awesome with the DLC and black hardware also. Two knives, two days, two days on lockdown. <laughs> Maybe this is a new thing. You just do knives, you know, while you're staying at home from the coronavirus. Anyways, the um, cutlery shop exclusive pair of three with the OD green on one side and the orange 
bright orange on the other. Exclusive. <laughs> 